Greetings YouTube, Kunde is here and let's continue our Iron Price of Tea campaign! Where we last left off, we wanted to go fight Ming. So we're gonna go do just that. We're gonna wait for our troops to arrive just in case. And then we're gonna fight Ming for some tea. And I'm gonna take all of the tea I can. I am after this trade good. It shall be mine. Apparently Shu I will also need to uh, talk to. Can I tell Japan? Oh, I have uh, enough of this. Can I tell Japan to give me a province? I'm at war right now. Which is annoying. Shun is tech 16, which means he's weak. Yeah, I don't think I can threaten war Japan right now. Well, maybe I can. I'm gonna try anyway. First, France needs to end this stupid war that he called me in for. Um... Am I coring my Spanish La Plata? I am. Vigianagar is preparing to attack Bengal, because Bengal is having a bad day, as I saw earlier. Portugal has taken this tea. There will be a Portuguese uh, Peru, which is fine by me. I'll be able to feed it, like... I'll be able to feed them all this stuff. And I'm very okay with that. If I look at where the state lines are... I'll have to make sure not to create my own colonial nation. Because I want to have to core it. There is a Portuguese Colombia, a Dutch Colombia. I just sank some boats. I gained nothing, but thankfully I sank the boats. Off the coast of Angola. Which is over here. The boats just sank his boats. I'm okay with that. Free boats? I didn't get any free boats. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Spain is uh, doing a lot less good than he was before. I helped. I will make Asturias the claim next time. That maybe France will uh, give it to me. We'll see. We'll see. Portugal is getting very, very strong. But I like him as a PU because he's still colonizing. He's still, like, creating Portuguese stuff everywhere. Cadiz and Sevilla, that's uh, Portugal's problem. Oh, that's a lot of Portugal's problem, though. Um, do I have transports? Can I just walk this army down here? No, I cannot. I can uh, lose a stability but gain 20 absolutism or gain 3 stability. Huh. I mean... There's something to be said about just free 20, stabi 20 absolutism and asking the Pope for that stability back. That was amazing. Wow, the king shall rule supreme. Heck yes, the king will rule supreme. Look at that 56 absolutism just for free, just like that. And just because of an event. Which means now, if I look at my age bonus, this is active for another at least 30 some odd years. Which means I will get another 30 some odd absolutism, which will get me to about 90. Which is a very good place to end the age of absolutism at. I don't think I need to farm any more absolutism. I could, but I don't think I need to. Uh, France is not doing a great job. I will gain innovativeness and gain some unrest in Manding. I don't care. People will be okay with that. I guarantee it. My troops are almost in position so I can fight the Ming. Kanzaskia Bogodista. Ooh, 50 Diplo points, yes. Yes, indeed. Where do we stand on uh, manufactories? We're almost there. We now need 500 ducats. And my merchants are willing to give me that in about two years. I might not even need to wait that long. Um... I really want to go save Portugal from himself, though. I don't know if I'll be able to in time. Okay. Permanent navies, that's fine. You're gonna drop the troops here. Danish La Plata! Uh, we're gonna call you Silver Tea. Because that is literally why we got that those provinces in the first place. Alright, let's heal our boats. 
And uh, while we uh, ponder, I will send you over to Lisboa. Promptly forget about you. But I will let you begin your journey in earnest for a bit, just to, you know, be away from uh, Ming's navies. Once you're about in the middle of the Indian Ocean, I will probably launch my war and feel safe about it. I just don't want to uh, risk running into Ming fleets. I don't trust these six heavies and these 30 galleys to do anything useful. Um, but you must hurry. Okay. Bunyoro entered the military alliance with our enemy Congo. That's fine. Now I think I'm far enough. Ming! Let's talk about the part where I want to conquer you. Arakan Tang and Promin. I can throw the Netherlands at it. I will make it a holy war. For Jesus! Let us invade the T. I don't need to fight for claims. I don't need to spend diplo points on any of this peace deal. Does Tang have any tea? Uh, no, Tang does not have any tea, so Tang is irrelevant to me. What deck is Tang? Tang is deck 15, I don't care about Tang. I'll get my one siege, it's gonna be Canton. Which is a very good province, which I will probably not... Well, actually, I want to say I probably won't take it, but I would very much love to keep the Mandate of Heaven in the dumpster for Shun. So that he's made out of paper if I ever have to fight him. And I suspect I will have to fight him if he takes this tea. So, um... Yeah, where are my claims in Ming anyway? I'm pretty sure I've gained claims in Ming. Oh, here. The Jiangxi area. Magnificent. I have claims on this stuff. What about you? You're not part of the Jiangxi area. That's fine. You're somebody else's problem. Um, I did pull the Netherlands in just so... Oh, hey, Arakan is... Uh, does Arakan have any useful trade goods? No, he does not. There's probably nothing that stops me from eating him. I'll just take Mroku, no one will care. There we go, give me that. And now I can, like... Oh, oh, embrace, yes! Manufactories! Alright, only one to go. I'll convert this. Uh, the Vile Pirates of Morocco did a thing. Holy War against Arakan and Bengal. I, that's nice, actually. We have gained our siege. Spain is no longer a valid rival. Cusco and Separatists in Lima. Um, I hope I can come save Portugal from himself. We'll have to see, though. Ideas. Land it or fire better. I like it. Let's go for it. Um, I haven't fought a single Ming troop yet. Can I? Can I just go siege that fort and I'll sit next to it. It's gonna feel nice and safe and cozy. Um, Idar did a thing. Sure, whatever. I can now convert Nias. I'm not sure why I couldn't before, but I will gladly convert it, just for it to be converted back by uh, that annoying mechanic. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. I will fight them with my Jesus! Go here, because clearly you're better suited for it. You have less cannons, you have no siege. You have more cannons, and you have siege pips. Never mind. Alright. Uh, clearly the 22 stack is the sieging stack, and the 26 stack is the fighting stack. Assuming I run into anything to fight. I think Ming is just afraid of me. As he should be, but still. Hey, 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 what is this? Sending your rebels at me? Oh no, stability drop. Empress Consort Regency. We'll get more pull powers. We'll fix that problem. How long am I in Empress Consort Regency for? Seven years. Thankfully, she's young. And she has average stats. So we're not actually getting screwed over by this, it's just not a great sh Which means it's actually better than the king she replaced. Which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. She's not better than him by a much, I think she's better than him by one point. But hey, better is better. Dance of the True Fate, plus one. Clergy happy? Hell yes. Clergy, can I get another... Do I want another Inquisitor? Yeah. 
I'll take another Inquisitor. Merchants are very, very high. Um, 11 February. It's like right here. Hey, merchants. Hate me more, but uh, give me all that sweet ducats. Now there's a bunch of merchant stuff that expired. But now they're too unhappy to give it back to me. Let's build some manufactories. Point forty. Can I build some workshops? Oh, wow. There's some workshops that are worth some good money. So we're going to build them first. And then we'll build two manufactories. Looking good. Uh, sure, we'll actually follow the recommendations of the clergy. Excellent event. Did not have to get an inquisitor for that. I cannot... Uh, wait, Mrokyu did not control? Maravi sieged it. <sighs> Damn the French war. Wu Chang has fallen. Can I peace you out now? I just want to give you a white peace. Alright, fine. Let's go sit on Nanying. Let's just convince you that... Uh, Peace is preferable to continue the hostilities, because I don't care about you, Tang. You don't have any tea. English, Colombian, peasants, they're over here, they're peasants, I don't care about peasants. Um, these guys are going to deal with it. Oh, nice, there is a Portuguese Peru now. Silver tea has not spawned anything. Oh, wow, yes, certainly. I'll gain a free stability, absolute rulership. Perfection, which means now I can make more states like South Sudawisi. And I'll keep some states for. Uh... I'll definitely make a state out of this though. Oh, yes. And maybe I'll keep some more states for uh, pieces of China. How many more states can I make? Uh, I can make four more states. Uh, Fujian might be worth it. There's, there's a lot of really good states at this point. At this stage in the game. Oh, Nanjing is uh, very sieged. Let's go over there. Let's go very sieged. Let's go bask in the very siegedness of it. How overextended am I? Uh, Kumasi is not progressing. Um, do I want to lose a bunch of money? Or do I want to just uh, gain military points and some ducats? What's my professionalism at? I don't have any professionalism to speak of. Whatever. Sack the damn thing. Alright, let's go sit on Nanjing. There we go. Such are the rules of warfare, as they say. Uh, Tang, I definitely want to piece you out, because I don't care about you. I don't know why you care so much. I couldn't care less, apparently. The game has said so. Alright, Tang, get the hell out. Give me some money and... Uh, I never cared about you. Thank you, do not come again. Nice, he does not feel any aggressive expansion because sacking his city is not aggressive expansion. I'm okay with that. I made oh that's a really good province that I will probably not get. So I don't care, because it's not part of my uh, achievement objectives right now. We'll see, but I have a feeling that I don't really care. Are my troops in position to go save Portugal from himself now? Not yet. Now they are. Now they are to go save uh, Portugal from himself. With this guy. I've lost my admin advisor again. And now all of my options are terrible. Give me some prestige. Give me some prestige. Rebels, Achehan separatists. Um, English colonial peasants, that's fine. Fetishist zealots, they will never enforce that. That is just not going anywhere. I hope it's enough, even though I'm massively outnumbered. They are rebels and I am not. I have much better stats than they do. So thankfully I think that's enough. Achehan Separatists, Bruneian Separatists, and Barito? Wait a minute. Oh, that's Portugal's problem. Ah. Uh, and the Achehans are here. Did I convert it? I was in the middle of it. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
Well, we've saved Portugal from himself, for now. We'll just finish saving Portugal properly from himself, and then we'll deal with the other ones. I will gladly stake Cormacasar. Um, Yangzhou has fallen. Okay. We've taken everything from Ming. Everything. I only have 44% war score. I really want to piece up Prome. Because I really don't care about him. And I really don't want to be in Maravi's stupid war anymore. Because France pulled me in it and I really don't care for it. Um, let's just keep state coring random things. Because I cannot core Mrokyu and I'm converting it anyway. So, you know. It's going to spawn some rebels before long. Uh, these are hard times. These are indeed hard times. But Portugal is almost saved from Portugal. Pontiamac has gone self-sustaining. Hooray! What can I do with my colonists now? Uh, let's do Sakhalin, just, just because. I've been talking about Sakhalin for a while. Let's just go do Sakhalin. Okay. 45% war score against Ming. Lost my Diplo advisor. I'll take an improved relation guy with a majestic beard. Because truly, people just look at the beard and like, yeah, okay, he's cool. And I agree with them. So, you know. State core this. Siege of Kawali has fallen to Ming. Where is even Kawali? I don't even know. You're getting killed. Probably because Ming refused to call. No, you're fighting Shu, which is this guy. And Ming is not involved. Not sure why, but I won't question it. I certainly won't question it. All I was question is, where's my tea? So where do we stand on piecing out for tea? We only have 47% war score. I will want to piece out Prome. I need the Dutch to work on Prome a bit harder. Maravi has uh, retaken Kalonga. Animist Zealots in Palo, that is Portugal's problem. Which reminds me, can I convert anything in my subjects? Not at the moment. Because they've made trade companies out of everything. The Siege of Prome has fallen back to Prome. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Let us save our poor port. Uh, I, I, I was gonna say our poor Portugal from himself, but we already did that. Although we need to go rescue Brunei. So first we'll come save here. Because I assume that if I run into Maravi, I'll sink him. Um, Netherlands had taken Prome, but now. Uh, okay, Prome, can I white piece you? I just wanna give you a white piece because I don't care about you at all. I really don't. Um, let's take Cordes while we do other stuff. Uh, I can gain a claim on Timbuktu, so I'll do it. Not that I'll use it, but still. Uh, can I go siege on more Ming things? Maybe stuff down south? I don't know. Yeah, sure, stuff down south, and you just keep occupying things. We'll just keep occupying random things. Because I don't care about Ming that much. I just need to, you know, keep the war going for a bit while we deal with other problems. I really don't want to be in Maravi's stupid war anymore. Can I just, like, not be there? Price of cotton goes up. Magnificent. Um, yeah, I really don't want to be in this stupid war anymore. Come on, France. Peace out, your Maravi. Ming gets internal conflicts. Ming is going to explode. But my war score has gone down. Again. Uh, war score is coming back up slowly. Did his rebels undo some of my occupations? Not at the moment. Oh, nice. I dodged these rebels. 
Koromo, we've gotten the Rebels, and I got the achievement that just popped up. Uh, somehow I got the achievement, and I don't understand it. 10%! I am at 10.20%! Probably because I occupied things. So interestingly, we have achieved Ostindisk Compagnie and the Iron Price. And that's pretty much all the achievements we can get that are interesting. I don't think the core for Man is still existent. Yeah, the core for Man is gone, so I can't even make a bid for it. So that achievement should not even, even be there. And I don't think I'll be able to succeed anything else as far as achievements are concerned. Or maybe we'll just... Uh, we'll just finish the war with Ming. And make ourselves feel good about it. World Marriage with the Commonwealth has ended. Disputed secession in the Commonwealth. Interesting. If he dies now, from House Hulkse, which is my uh, consort regent, which is so random, I would be so unhappy. But uh, once the Whittles back uh, thing happens, we'll be one. We'll maybe get the Whittles back on there, and that'd be nice. Uh, Louis the Fifteen Deste. Uh. Okay, can I just get out of some wars now? I really want Promate to get the hell out. There's some Dutch Bengal, there's some Ottomans, there's some nonsense over here. People trying to carve up India and failing miserably at it. Uh, we've killed some Ming rebels. Tang is gone. Ming lost a friend. Bude has found Tukikonja. Can we just peace him out? France, can you just get the hell out of the war with Maravi? I really don't care for it. Like, I really don't. What's the war goal even? Quelly Man, which you finally have again. Colonial Cascadia is now Portuguese. I am happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Venice declared war on Austria for conquest. That's cute. Silver tea is looking good. Uh, can they turn lead into gold yet? Magnificent. Um, okay. Can I core? I still cannot core this because I still don't control it. My troops are still not here yet. Where's my navy? Oh, it's almost here! It's finally almost here! We can save this, we can save Portugal, we can unsiege this. I really should go unsiege this actually. One thing at a time. I don't actually care about this that badly. I do want to save Portugal from himself, but uh, we gotta save ourselves with the Ajahan separatists first. Uh, it's a colony, so I cannot convert it. Damn it, guys. <sighs> I have two colonizer vassals. It's so great. It's so magnificent. Okay, we freed that up. Let's go free up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this walking thing? I'm gonna go sit on Promise Capital. Screw it. So, you know what? If you're passing by the boats anyway, why not just bring the boats over here? How does Promi. Oh, yeah, Promi has uh, access to the sea through Pegu. I guess. I really don't care for Maravi's war. Oh wow, by now Palatinet has walked all the way to it. Talk about timing. Fine, Palatinet, you deal with that. I'm gonna go deal with this. Please unsiege my Mraku. You have one job. Is he stopping? He's not even stopping. Palatinet, what is wrong with you? Alright, fine, let's deal with Separatists anyway first, but... Uh... Whatevs. Okay, I don't want to fight these. I don't want to fight these stupid rebels. Your Ming's problem. Uh, there we go. Palatinate is sieging Promise Capital. I really just want to piece him out because I don't care about him. Never did. Nias has converted. 
Great success, which means now I can core it. No, because Nias was not of her uh, core issue. Diplotech cast down, sure. Uh, Naming did a thing. I need to control this province to make it to a core, yes. Um, do I want an admiral or do I want an evil reformer skill 3 that's half cost? Niels Jewel. Um, I certainly don't need either of them. So we'll take the one that's not likely to cost me points per month. Although, can I hire? I, I don't know, I like that discipline too much. Not getting rid of the discipline guy. Making more points might be nice, but discipline is better. Although I am falling behind in uh, military tech now. Not compared to the ones I'm fighting in Asia, but still. Uh, Naming has fallen. Let's keep exploring and... Oh no, Canton has, un has been unseaged. Let's go fix that. Um... Palatnet is getting killed by Prome. Netherlands are just letting that happen. What is this? The Netherlands. Okay. Let's go over here. Alright, that's what it should be. A direct path to Mroku. <sighs> okay. Bunch of hit separatists in Bantan. Oh, hey, someone sieged that. How did I not notice? Alright, fine, let's deal with that first, then. That explains where some of my war score went. Uh, do I have a general? I have a general. Okay. This war is not being as straightforward as it was supposed to be. I feel lied to. Ah, I really just want Promet to get out, though. I really, really just want to white piece this guy. It's gonna be so much war score that I'll gain instantly. Um. Also, I really want France to peace out. Okay, let's go and siege this. We gained conquest against Ning. We gained holy war against Ning. Oh, hello, Ning. Claims on all of you. You're right to Shu. Which is not Shu, and it's this guy. That's cute. Do you have tea? You do not have tea, therefore you're inconsequential to me. Um But there is tea up there. There is tea in the fog of war over here, and I want it. I want it! Is there tea elsewhere in Ming? There is not. There's literally there's a uh, parted coffee can gain and lose war exhaustion and love me. Sure. Canton is mine again. 41% war score. I have a fort in Pegu. Can I just piece him out now? Can I even take his Pegu? Can I make him and all his treaties with Ming? No, keep your friendship with Ming. You're just annoying. You're not actually strong. Alright, good riddance. Good riddance indeed. We've gained war score progress for the war. You are to keep exploring into the T. And 50% uh, war score is nice, but could be better. Mughals of some discontent. Um, Bavaria, come siege this. That is your priority once you're done with whatever it is that you're doing right now. Come and siege Morok here. Since you are here anyway. I am not asking you for much. Just to come sit your army there for a couple days. And uh, there we go. Save your overlord from uh, whatever that is. So I can finish converting it. And uh, there we go, France is doing the thing. It is the war against Maravi that is now calling for peace. I'm very okay with that. Uh, oh, rebels. Where do we stand on T? That ain't T. 
Um, but it is a really good trade good. Iron. But we want the tea. Oh, Kawali, yes. I did see a pop-up that Ming had taken it. And I've apparently reached the end of the episode. But... It seems that since we have achieved the objectives of the campaign, I think now is a good place to call it. And we're gonna start something else next week. But what? We shall see. But just to have a proper satisfying conclusion, we will piece Ming out. And uh, I want his tea. And I want whatever is under there, so we'll just... Glorious will Denmark be? Yes! Glorious indeed. Only 46 war score? Ah, the rebels have unsieged things, or maybe, I don't know anymore. I don't know what's going on in this war anymore, there's too much chaos. But that said, now I see the province, so I can demand it. There's 26 war score, I'll take this to finish my state. Um, can I run away with Canton? Yes, I can. Can I connect my land? If I don't take this thing, I can connect my land and have a single contiguous thing. 85 over extension, which is perfect. And, uh... Magnificent. There we go. Now all of these Ming rebels are Ming pro- Oh crap, I'm dangerously overextended. How did I not notice that? Did I forget that I took things? I forgot that I took things. I'm still coring Kumasi. Where is Kumasi even? Anywho. I have pieced out Ming. And taken a lot of land. And now if I look... I only have 2% of the market share of tea again. I only got what I got because I was sieging Ming. But... That was good enough for me. That was good enough for my Austin Disc Compagnie T. So well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.